Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda. The Minish Cap, where I am significantly poorer in mystery shells because I've been doing gotcha mini games. I went ahead and collected the first 20 figures. I figured that was, it's roughly about a sixth. You know, that, that's a pretty good place to start. Uh, and I do have like, I do know now the significance, I can describe more clearly the significance of the colored capsules that you get. Um, green capsules are monsters. I mean, that's pretty much easy. Every, every green capsule I got was a monster. Uh, except for mini bosses and bosses, those came in yellow capsules. Blue capsules were characters, usually single major characters. And red capsules were groups of NPCs or scenes from the game. We'll, we'll see a few of each as we go through here. Uh, king Daltus, the king of Hyrule, reported to have been a fine swordsman. He appeared in the Picori Festival Tournament as a youth and fought to a draw with Smith. So you're going to find out a little bit more about each character, the little background or something, some trivia about them. Mayor Hagen, the mayor of the town of Hyrule. He's a big collector of odd masks. He's built a shelter into his garden just in case monsters ever attack Hyrule. And then they did, so who's laughing now? And you! This young woman tends to her cuckoos in Hyrule Town. If you help her gather her loose cuckoos, she'll give you a reward. The Great Butterfly Fairy of Minish Woods. She provides you with a larger wallet, allowing you to carry more rupees with you. We have not met her yet. So, that's interesting. Bastari, a Minish living in Minish Village. He speaks some human languages. He sees that Link is human with one look. He's a bit of a human enthusiast. Then Jintari, the elder of the forest Minish. He has lived among humans for a long time. He knows where the four elements are. He has a twin brother in Hyrule's library. And then the forest Bikori. Not visible to the eyes of adults, they delight in making humans happy by hiding helpful items and rupees under grass and rocks all over the world. That, oh, that's how you uh, get your items. Fast scroll, there we go. Here's some of the scenes that come in the red capsules. Wheat and pita. This couple bakes bread in Hyrule. Their tasty pastries hold a secret. Oop. If you're extra lucky, there'll be a helpful item hidden inside. Usually a kinstone piece. Fun day school. This is where all the children of Hyrule learn. Link and Princess Zelda studied here too. The two teachers are twins named Tina and Dina. Apparently they only teach you to like, until you're 10 and then you're on your own. So it's Pokemon. Mama's Cafe. This is the best place in town to relax. You can also pick up some good tips from the latest gossip to observations about the world. The Carpenters. The Carpenters may be rough around the edges, but they do good work. They may seem tough, but they're in touch with their feminine side. <laughs> kind of want to know where we see them get in touch with their feminine side now. Gregel and the Ghost, an old man plagued by an evil spirit. Coming to his aid will bring you benefit in the end, so if you meet him, you must find a way to help him. We've done that. The Slugula appears in Menace Dungeons. They drop from the ceiling unexpectedly. They're slow, so take your time and defeat them one by one. Still got some more down here. P-Hat appears on Mount Crenel, etc. These strange beasts hover on propeller-like leaves. You can pull them out of the sky with your gust jar. Babam appears in dungeons. They often gather in groups in narrow areas. Once activated, they go a little crazy. Pick them out with arrows. We don't have arrows. Boulder. This is actually counts as an enemy. Appears on Mount Crenel, etc. These huge boulders come crashing down from cliff walls. They fall in a random pattern, so watch your step. Yes, I've noticed. I've noticed they're random. Arcturoc appears in various areas. There are red ones and blue ones. They've appeared in every Zelda game to date. They spit rocks, so be careful. I think the, I think the Octorok is the only enemy that's appeared in every Zelda game. They're like, if not the only one, they're one of the only one or two. Beetle appears in various areas. They appear under rocks and grass. If they grab you, you won't be able to move. Swing your sword to get away. Choo-choo's appears in variety, in various areas. Choo-choo's come in many colors. Each color is a little different, but work, ranged weapons work well against all. I don't have a thing. I don't have a bow and arrow. And then, you know, this was one of the mini-bosses. The Matter Pillar. Appears in Deepwood Shrines, etc. So we'll see it again. This caterpillar moves in a zigzag pattern. If you hit him on the nose, he gets upset and starts running around. I think that was the last one. Yeah. 
So I'll be going through and trying to remember which figurines I need to show off when I get them. I'll probably have to make a note of it somehow. Also, this passage right here is not open. If you want to go up and down these stairs, talk to this dog as a menace. He just wants attention. He just wants somebody to come by and say hi. That's all he wants. Now he's super happy. He's running around. He's out of our way. Okay, so... You know, there's a couple of places that we can go. I did do a quick look to see if there's any new... Um, any new... Um, Stone fusions. No luck. Not yet, anyway. Um, yes, I know there's a portal there. I can't do anything about it yet. I kind of want to look around in here. I don't think we're going to be able to move this just with two links. No. Okay. Too big. But there is... There is a place that we can move. Now that we have this. I'm sure somewhere there's a hint that will tell you. But if we go back to the cave. With the... This one over here. With uh, where we got the bottle. I think we should be able to move this. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're in a new area. With moblins! Excellent! Yeah, that little test of bodies to see if you can handle the, the new big enemy. The blue arc rocks don't take any more damage than the old ones, it seems. They're just, I don't know, fond of water? They don't seem any tougher. That's a mimic. That mimic is screwed. Even though these don't matter. Come here. Thank you. You got a kinstone piece. These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. Excellent. So, I did some more research into kinstone fusion. Uh, th by the way, this area is where you want to farm for kinstones later in the game. Um, red and blue fusions are always fixed. It's the green ones that are random. It's the green ones that are always completely random. So now we've opened up this way. We can do that. We can get here easier. Also, we should be able to do this on the other side, too. Huh? What a strange feeling. I sensed something from the castle's direction. Or was it just me? Uh, it was not just you. Hmm? Who's there? What? Vadi? How did you get in here? Apparently he teleported. Did you miss that? Uh, what are you doing? was being fussy. Yeah. It looks like you're all here. Very well. The King of Hyrule... Oh, this is the minister. It looks like you're all here. Very well. The King of Hyrule has words for you. All right. You all know of the power the Pekori gave to mankind, do you not? The golden light force of limitless magical power. I want it. It is somewhere here in the Hyrule. Go now and bring me this power. Waste no time. Go forth at once and bring me the Light Force. Fling anyone who refuses into the dungeon. Him and his family too. I will tolerate no disobedience. Now search high and low throughout the lands of Hyrule. Hmm. Maybe it's just the wind. I hope nothing bad has happened. 
Anyway, we need to look for the next element. The map says it should be around here somewhere. Yep. We now have Evil King! Brainwashed King. Cool, now we can open up this place and we can get in here much easier. Much, much easier. I'm gonna go back up here because there is that stump I'm gonna look at. Hello! You wanna fuse? Hello, I am Percy, poet laureate of Hyrule. And you are Link? Oh no, no, the pleasure is mine. I travel all over the realm, writing verse wherever I go. But here I am, returning after a long absence only to find the road blocked. It wouldn't feel like such a waste if I hadn't lost half of my kinstone. When misfortune rains down upon my head, it pours in torrents. I think I may have dropped it in the inn I stayed at last night. I see no other course than to put these tragic events to verse. I see stars beyond the rainbow, but I cannot reach them. Though the stone I lost is small, large was its place in my heart. Are you, I confused with you? Oh my, that fragment looks just like mine. They might even fit together. Yes, I do have one. The two kinstones fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Well, it opens up that. Oh, perfect! They fit! That's it! I've got it now! The perfect verse! Apart or whole, these two are one. Two lost and broken halves, like me and my beloved. You're kind of depressing to be around. But it does look like it opened up a route for us. Is it over here? Yeah. What's over here? Oh, it's you! <laughs> oh dear, Link, won't you listen to my verse? When I finally returned to my home, sweet home, a stranger was there. I'm an extremely shy person and I just can't talk to someone I don't know. You talk to me just fine. So I had to put my feelings to verse. While I was gone, did you break in to practice your thieving art? Even if you rob my home, you can never steal my heart. Hello. The swamp in Caster Wilds is bottomless, I say. To get across that swamp, you'll need to run as swiftly as the wind blows. Hmm. You don't say. Why are you in this house? Can I do anything about it? I don't think I can do anything about it yet. Well, enjoy your house. Pretty sure I've got to light those torches to do anything. Ow, why did I do that? You know what, you're probably fine where you're at. I'm just killing myself on you. By running into you every time, wow. So, the Swamp of Castle Walls is bottomless, you say. Oh, you got a bow. You're much easier to take on when you got a bow. Ooh! 20 ru- well, I don't know why I got excited about that. I guess 20 rupees is 20 rupees. I guess. I don't know, it still went to waste. Hello. I planted a bean near my house, but it just doesn't want to grow. Hmm. There we go. I'm guessing that's where you planted your bean. Blue Ruby! Went to waste. The thing is, is like... There's nothing I really want to buy. I could buy supplies. But that wouldn't really help me. It's a bomb. At this point, I might buy some bombs. 
Mr. Wilds, danger, don't forget your Pegasus boots. Oh, uh, what? We'll be fine. It's fine. So, this must be Caster Wilds. It's a nasty, dank place filled with swampland and mire. But we know there's an element waiting for us somewhere in here, so... In we go! Come on, Link, into the muck with us. You just say that because you're on my head. Uh... I don't think we can walk fast enough to cross this swamp. We're going to have to find some way to get across safely. You don't say. Well, there was that shoe shop back in Hyrule Castle Town. Maybe they've got what we need? Maybe it's the shoes. Must be the shoes! Oh, hey, I never looked in here, did I? Did I? All right, this is money that I can't take yet. I didn't want to go to waste. You know, like all the other money that I've got that's going to waste. All right, let's go to the shoe store. Oh, hey. Well, that's convenient. Now we can finally get up here. Hello. Hello! Hey, hey! You're Link, right? You're the one who bought the, brought the sword to Master Malari. You're on a quest to help the princess, aren't you? I wish I could go on a quest, but then he'd make Rem's shoes for him. Rem, because of sleep, rapid eye movement, get it? Rem, haha. Uh -huh. Oh, you need Pegasus boots? Oh, you're just in time. We made a pair just now while Rim was sleeping. But only Rim can put the finishing touches on them. <laughs> that sleepyhead Rim is nearly impossible to wake up. If you want to wake him, you'll need to get an item from Syrup's Hut. It's a little bit of a trek, but we'll mark it on your map for you. Alright, somewhere over there in the Minish Woods. I just love the artwork in this game. This game is so underappreciated. It's not my favorite Zelda. Not by a long shot. But it's really pretty. Like, art-wise, it's definitely up there. Especially for the handheld. And particularly for when it came out, this is like incredibly detailed to what we've been used to from handheld Zeldas. So does that mean the end's open now? Yeah, we can go in here. Yeah, Den Ferrari. Speaking of the the handhelds, there's Den Ferrari and, and Nehru from the Oracle series. We need to find a nice, quiet place where we can settle down. It's so nice to be here at last, and such a big town it is. Staying in this end forever would start to be a bother. I don't want to fuse concerns with me, so there's that. Ah, snot boy. Hey, what do you know about that Light Force stuff? People are saying it's some kind of treasure that can grant you any wish. Anyway, now the king's in a big huff trying to find it. It's so strange though, he never struck me as the greedy type before. It's almost like he's a different person now. Hmm. Need some way to light that. Seems you really get what you pay for here. Interesting. Get what you pay for, you say? Well, they all got, they all got empty chests in two of the rooms. Three of the rooms? Three of the rooms. Alright. What do I pay for? Hi there, and welcome to the Happy Hearth. Need a rest kit? Uh, we can take care of that, and even throw in a present to boot. Uh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back for this. I'm pretty sure the presents are just kinstones. But, you know, 400 
rupees for a present. Pretty expensive. If it's just a gunstone. I'm gonna look more into that. I see we're, we're not as concerned with keeping me from going where I'm gonna go. You know, pretty much at this point, like, the map's opened up a lot. I lost my key and I can't get inside, and the spare key is inside the house. Oh, good job. What a pain. I was thinking of going into town to sell Lama milk. Aw, oh, we have to help Malin out. Fortunately, I think we can. There we go. That'll get the door, clearly. There it is, you got the Lon Lon Ranch key. Now you can open the ranch door. Very, very important, because now we can get through here. Of course, we, we can't open it from this side. It would be sus. Plus, we need an opportunity for one of them to go inside and open the inside door. Without being seen by us. Very important. Enjoy that bomb. Hey look, it's me, your key. Oh, our one and only spare key. I don't know who's talking. I don't know how you got this, but I can't thank you enough. Tell me your name, Sonny. Link? That's a great name. If you ever need to go to Lake Hillia, feel free to cut through our house. That seems... Thank you very much, Link. Come visit us again. That seems very inconvenient. To have people cutting through your house all the time. You really helped me out, Sonny. If you ever want to go, Lake Hillia, blah, blah, okay. Necessarily want to go to Lake Hillia. What I do want to do is go down here. Finally, get this. You got a big wallet. Now you can carry more rupees. I believe now we can carry up to 600 rupees. But now, you know, all our money's not going to go to complete waste. Um. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do the other thing yet. Might be able to do something here. Believe me, there's gonna be things we can do to help that. You got 50 rupees! Perfect. To help that uh, bar fill up a lot faster. To the point where it almost becomes instant. Nothing here yet. Okay. Whenever you see a tree with sparkles like that, you're gonna wanna run into it, but we can't. We don't have the Pegasus boots, so we can't do anything with that. Usually, uh, a tree of sparkles like that is going to be a, something secret or a portal to the Minish Run. And as you can see, we probably need a portal to the Minish Run. Somewhere close to this. Ah! I was hitting the button! I was. Alright. Now I can open this up. We don't have to cut through the house again. Up there. Pretty sure I left. Uh, I left a piece of heart behind that I could have flipped up for. Oh well. What's this way? Ooh, I like where this is going. Well, this isn't what I wanted. You got our kinstone piece. It's not bad. Great kinstone's very important. Really had that down there, but I don't think I can get that. Sad times. Sad, decent, heartless times. Where is this on the map? Oh, okay. I don't think we're gonna be able to get that for a bit. There we 
we go. What is over here? What do we got going on here? Oh, you can flip bushes. That's great. That's not what I wanted to do, but it's kind of funny. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna need to float over that water. That's what that's for. Okay. Ah! Come on, I'd actually like to get there. This episode. Flip and jump. Whee! Man, just imagine how convenient it would be if we could actually swim. Wouldn't that be great? But then it wouldn't be a Zelda game if Link knew how to swim from the very beginning. Yeah, I'm gonna drown! Okay, I made it. I'm fine. Everything's fine. We're all fine here. Flip. Yeah. Well, I know I can flip some enemies. Okay, you didn't like that. You didn't appreciate that. I didn't appreciate being shot, so we're even. Alright, now we get to the part of Diminished Woods that some of our items might be accessible to us. It's this way. Maybe an easier way in here. What it looks like to me. Some of the items have been separated by... Oh, like that golden Octorok that's gonna shoot lots at us. Been separated by... Um... Ow! That water we can get now. You got a blue kinstone piece. These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. Like this piece of heart! You got a piece of heart. Now you have two pieces. Collect two more to increase your life energy. More importantly, I needed that heal. So, this is how much damage a golden monster can take. We got, I don't know, 100 rupees was that? I wasn't actually looking. But that's how much you can wail on a golden enemy. Ah, welcome! Care for some of the Granny's homemade blue potion? One sip and you're full of energy. Please look around. I'd rather take this, actually. Ah, oh, yes, a fine choice, my dear. That's a limited time article. One whiff and you're wide awake. That's why it's called a wake-up mushroom. Would you like to buy it for 60 rupees? Yeah, absolutely. You got a wake-up mushroom. It's nasty stench. Chases away the sleepies. <laughs> Just face the sleepy snoozer and press R. That'll pop its eyes right open. Pop. All right. Clearly, syrup. Uh, not a reference to Link's Awakening, because she appeared in Link to the Past. The Sleepy Toadstool definitely is. Anyway, we're going to call it an episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me likes, leave me comments, remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.